Welcome to another Real Estate Talk Show, featuring highlights of the best interviews from our national real estate radio show. Here's another property expert. Terry Ryder from hotspotting.com.au is on the line again. G'day, Terry. Hello, Kevin. How are you going? Yeah, good, mate. Our topic today is uh, cash flow positive properties, and the feedback we're getting is it's getting tougher all the time. Well, it is. Compliments of the Reserve Bank of Australia. Six months ago, it was relatively easy to achieve uh, ca- positive cash flow properties without uh, taking the high risk of going to, to mining towns. But uh, with uh, five interest rate rises in the last six months, it's now become much more difficult. And uh, what we're primarily left with is um, to get genuine positive cash flow is, is purely uh, mining towns, which I don't like to recommend because I think they're very high risk. Yeah, too risky. Um, Terry, um, I just have a belief that if you have to invest in property and you have to do it on a cash flow positive basis, maybe this isn't the time for you to be investing. Well, um, I think there still are possibilities out there. You just uh, They're just much harder to find and they're fewer and further between. But, um, I mean, there's, there's some locations that spring to mind um, that are worth mentioning um, in uh, Brisbane terms. Um, the Bing Lee area um, and, and halfway between Brisbane and the Gold Coast, um, you can still buy uh, smallish units down there for sometimes under 200000 and uh, you can still get rentals strong enough to give you 6 to 7% returns there. And uh, I think that's worth considering because I like that precinct because it's um, sort of equidistant from Brisbane and the Gold Coast. It's got a very good um, transport infrastructure, both road links and rail links, lots of good shopping amenity in that area, plenty of jobs, um, the Yatala Enterprise area just down the road. So I think that area's got prospects in with... Um, if you buy well and get the depreciation benefit, you can go pretty close to having an investment that pays for itself. Mm. That's Brisbane. Are there any other areas that you, you think around Australia? Yeah, well, uh, one that I particularly like uh, myself is Moree in northern New South Wales. Um, it's it's a town which is um, is quite strong economically, but I think its future prospects are even stronger. Um, there's a, an approved rail link to be built between it and Toowoomba in Queensland, and Maury houses come um, particularly cheap. The median house price is well under 200000 and but the rents are relatively strong, and you can easily find uh, 6% returns there, and sometimes much higher. And I think because of its um, its cheapness and its future prospects economically, it's a good place to look. And uh, also Charters Towers in Queensland is a, is a town which uh, I particularly like towns like Charters Towers because they're not mining towns, but they do get some benefit from it. Uh, it's primarily exists to service the agricultural community. It's um, got some really cheap housing and, and quite strong rentals, and you can get uh, sort of six to seven percent returns if you look around there. And it's being boosted by the revival of gold mining in the area. So what you're showing is really is that there there are some possibilities if you do your homework. And yeah, I, I know you've been doing a lot of that. You've been travelling around too, around Australia. That's right. Um, I've uh, had had a. 18-day sort of field trip in the, the mobile office and uh, saw parts of Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria. Um, and uh, one of the things that are impressed upon me is that um, the areas that appeal the most personally, the areas I might like to live, um, some of the lovely sea change areas on the south coast of New South Wales, for example, uh, are not uh, very often the best places to invest. And it's quite often the, the ugly real estate areas that are the best investments, the sort of the more... Uh, working class towns where there are jobs and economic activity, uh, cheaper houses and, and higher rentals. Mm. Um, places like Nowra in New South Wales, for example, doesn't have the uh, the sex appeal of uh, the coastal towns, but much better investment. Wonderful, Terry. Thanks again. Once again, good advice. Terry Ryder there from Hotspotting. You can check out the website hotspotting.com.au. Terry, thanks again. You're welcome, Kevin.